So today I'm going to show you just a brief overview of Scorebase on the um, ER4U robots. So you'll launch this program, Scorebase, on the computers that are connected to the controllers and the robots. And it'll load up for you. Okay, you'll see mine says offline, but that's because I'm not actually connected to a robot at this moment. So hopefully yours will say online here. All right, and when you go in, go ahead and make a new program. And if you're connected to a robot, it'll immediately say the robot has not been homed. So you will need to do run, search home, and you can either do all axes or robots. Only one of the robots has an axis connected that is not on the robot. Um, on that particular one, you will need to choose all axes, okay? Um, so you'll go ahead and do that and it'll go through the homing process. All right, once that happens, then you can, it's honed successfully, then you can begin to teach positions, do a wide variety of things, okay? So let's first go through and just talk about where some things are in Scorebase, all right? One of the things we've talked about is um, or you may have already done labs on is the movement, all right? And this dialog box would let you use um, different movements on the robot. You can select joint or XYZ, all right? And you can choose to do that either way. You can control the speed. This is closed gripper, this is open gripper, all right? Uh, it can be difficult to visualize moving the robot that way. So sometimes we prefer to go to view robot movement. These boxes can all just be dragged around and then you can actually see which axis you're moving. You may find that helpful. All right. You can look and see Z, which way does that make the robot move? Which way does Y make the robot move? Which way does X make the robot move? What is pitch? What is roll? All right. And so that may help you manipulate the robot better than the manual movement. This is the teach positions dialog box. And right now it is in simple mode and it cannot be expanded. That's because we're in a level that is very simple. We're in level one. You'll see if I expand the commands here. I don't have a lot of commands available to me. And if I go to level two, then I have more commands available to me. And then finally, if I go to Pro, I have many, many more commands available to me. All right, so you can kind of see uh, that there are different things. You may change the level here with these quick buttons or by going to Options and changing the level. All right, you will not need to use um, hardware setup so please don't use that option, all right? Okay, so let's just go through and look at um, how we might start writing a simple program, all right? If you want to expand the teach positions, once you're in a higher level, you may of course do that. And if we've taught positions, then we might be ready to go ahead and um, write a simple program. So let's go through a simple pick and place program what that might look like. If I'm going to write a simple pick and place, pick a block up, move it to another place, I am going to do something like start with opening the gripper. So I'll double click over here in my workspace. I can expand this box, access control, and the first thing I want to do is open my gripper. I, won't, I can't pick anything up if the gripper is not open. So I'll do open gripper. And then remember we've made a catalog of positions and I'll do go to position and I can either pull down from the pull down menu here or I can type in. So I want to go to position 12 which will be two locations above the base. I don't care whether it's joint, linear, or circular. I want to do it at 5, that's a nice intermediate speed. And so I click OK. Now I want to go ahead and lower down to position one zero. So I'll double click that line again to put it in and I can type in one zero or you might call that one and say okay. So I need to pick the object up. So I need to close gripper. 
All right? And then I need to go to the next location. So I want to go back up to position 12. Then I will do um, go to a position out of the way, or if my workspace would be clear, then I could go to my second location. So I could do go to position oops, 22. That's going to be above two locations above my drop off point. Then I'll go to position 20. Then I can open my gripper. Right, and then I've dropped it off. So this is a simple pick and place routine. Right? And so you can troubleshoot this as you go. You can write a line and then you can click the run single line button and it would run the immediate line. Right? If you click this button, it would run a single cycle all the way through. An important thing to note about Scorebase is if I'm clicked here and then click any one of these run icons, it will run that line. So if you want to run from the top of your program, you need to click on the top line of your program. And then this one will do run continuously. So this would make it go from here to the end and it would automatically jump from 8 to 1. All right. So those are the different um, choices in um, a program. That's a simple pick and place program. All this would do would pick up, all right, and drop off, all right, and then the robot would be sitting over the drop off point.